Hello, in this video I will be talking about what in brief a face net is and I have kept the face net model in the model folder and the name is face net keras so from the uh, load model uh, attribute of the models from the keras library basically import in the object model now in brief what a face net is so popular face recognition algorithm which is developed by researchers at google few years back it deals with distances in Euclidean space. So basically what it is doing is where far away distances mapped from face images signifies different faces or least similar faces. Where distances that are closer in space indicates that there is a high similarity in faces and maybe of a single person. Now the output of the model is embeddings and after generating the embeddings, popular applications of CV which is dealing with faces such as recognition and verification which we will be going through can be utilized taking the generated embeddings as features to train. Now the type of neural network it uses backhand is convolutional neural network, a popular neural network which gained popularity and good accuracy dealing with images. And later part of the project, so basically this project I have divided in two parts. So one is the uh, basically classifying the images using FaceNet. And the another part is classifying the images using VGG phase. So I'll tell you in little more in detail and little more detail what a, a CNN is and what in brief like uh, what how CNN works. So in CNN layers used to learn different types of representations or features such as edges where a difference of dark and light pixels are there. Take for example, there may be a dark pixel located in a place of nose and then light or less darker elsewhere on cheeks. So the such kind of differences in the intensity of pixels on a face image can be easily identified by working of CNN layers. Now the model will expect color images in the square format. So basically the shape of the face detected by any algorithm should be in a square format and having a shape of 160 by 160. And basically this model will uh, expect a color image. So we'll have 160 by 160 into 3. So 3 for 1 this 160 160 square dimension pixels for a red channel another one for the green then the last one for the blue so that is rgb and the output of the model will be embeddings of a one dimensional 128 vectors and now like basically uh so how on what images uh the space net model has been uh, built so the network has used a, to train a face net model and it uses a large data set where the basically the limitations that we saw like the angles, the intensity of the light, such kind of limitations in identifying or recognizing faces were taken into consideration. And the data set the model was built on contained more than 13,000 images of distinct faces which are collected from web. And each face has given a label or name, basically supervised kind of training. And the data set they called as labeled faces in the wild, which is LFW data set. And, be, and it also uses a triplet loss. So basically to minimize the error, there is certain kind of loss which any machine learning or deep learning algorithm is trying to uh, take. So the loss is a kind of a spatial loss, which is a triplet loss. And this kind of loss is trying to minimize for a better accuracy of a model. This is a unique kind of loss function. What it is doing is trying to minimize L2 distance or the Euclidean distance which is square root of the square differences of the same axis vector of same identities and maximizing the distance of different characters of the face images. So let's say we have two embeddings or oh sorry let's say we have a two uh, kind of vectors for two different persons. So if the person's face are, are of a different similarity or they are very different or they are of a different person so the distance between them it will try to maximize and if the faces are of a similarity and if they are a similar person person so it will be basically trying to minimize so let's see visually like what it do so there are three types which so basically the there are below are the th different types which are trying to minimize and maximize so let's say an anchor basically an anchor is an image of a random person now a positive image this will be the another image of a same person negative image an image of a different person now what it is doing so two euclidean distances are measured one between the anchor and the positive image 
another between the anchor and the negative image the training process will be in such a way that aims the distance between anchor and the positive image and will do inversely for the anchor and the negative image such that similar images lie close to each other and distant images lie far away in the bedding space so this is how after learning the dist uh, basically the representations of the anchor with respect to positive and negative will change